Shalom Israel. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, the honor city apostles and others of great millstone. Shalom to you, to the elect men doing his work in truth and in sincerity. This uh, site I have found is called Rational Wiki, examples of God's personally killing people. Because you know, a lot of times in this Western night society, a lot of people may think if you're actually a manly man, you know, you got a beard on your face, you're speaking with authority. You know, a lot of people get offended at that, you know. A lot of times we, you know, as prophets of the Lord, go out there and tell people, you know, straight out, you know, if you're a fag, you're going to be put to death. Um, If you like the so-called white man, you're going to be put to death. All right. If you're celebrating holidays, you're going to be put to death. All right. You know, women's under men. All right. So the most high is straightforward, man. And a lot of the scriptures, like, um, I'm actually get this real quick. Because a lot of the scriptures, man, the most high is straightforward, too, about putting people to death, man, if they wasn't right. You know, because, like I said, contrary to this westernized society, a lot of people think, you know, God is all love. Which, he is love, but it's a balance to it, man. The scriptures say that a false balance is an abomination to the most high, man. If a kid was all love. If you if you was all love, would your kid respect you? You know. Right now, let me see. Let's see, I try to find it though. Let me see. He that kills. Well, I just wanted to get this. You know, the Most High always talking about, um, you know, putting people to death, basically, if they're not right, man. You know, so when you read the scriptures, you got to know that it gets uh, pretty gruesome as well, man. As well as, you know, you learn the wisdom, the knowledge, and you learn the blessings of the Lord, of course, which is beautiful. But at the same time, you learn to fear the Lord, you know. You know, as the scriptures say, man. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. All right? So how do you fear the Lord if, if you think that he's all about love, man? All right? The most high orchestrates the bad as well as the good. All right? So when you get back into that site, well, this, you know, Slaki, this site, this, I just got this to show you, you know, brothers, how many times the most high goes into death. It just talks about a death 346 times, man. Uh, You know, give or take as far as him being the record as how you sh should be put to death. Leviticus 24 and 17. He that killeth any man shall surely be put to death. 24 and 21. He that killeth a beast, he shall restore it. And he that killeth a man, he shall be put to death. Let me see. That's basically talking about, you know, unjustly. You're not supposed to kill a man unjustly, man. The man shall also be on. Uh, let me see. I believe, yeah, this one is talking about if a man's doing work on a Sabbath. He shall be put to death, Numbers 15 and 35. And you know, many other instances that you can see. But back in that site, right? Examples of God's killings, all right? This one, 20 million estimated, says fatality, 20 million estimated people being evil. The most I drowned them, and this is in Genesis 6 and 7, all right? And we know that's, in, that's talking about in the time of uh, Noah, all right? So the most high was all about death, man. You don't think it was babies and kids in there too? You know? The next one is, you know, the story of Solomon and Gomorrah when the most high turned that place into a pillar of salt by raining uh, fire and brimstone and sulfur on that place. You know, because what? That place was known for sexual, homosexual acts, man. And what this place is also known as Sodom and Egypt. We know this place, you know, upholds its wickedness as far as homosexuality goes. You know, as far as um, bestiality goes. And all those things are an abomination to the Most High. And the Most High said, if you do these things, you shall surely be put to death, man. You know, written in Leviticus, the 20th chapter and other chapters. All right. Um, Try to get another one. Let's see. Two hundred and fifty Israelites follow followers of Korah. 
burnt to death by fire from God. Number 16 and 35. And there came out a fire from the Lord and consumed the 250 men that offered incense. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Take the fire young for they have hollow. Let me see. Go up, read up, actually. Number 16 and 28. And Moses said, Hereby ye shall know that the Lord hath sent me to do all these works. For I have not done them done them of my own mind. If these men die, the common death of all men, or if they be visited after the visitation of all men, then the Lord hath not sent me. But if the Lord make a new thing, and the earth open up her mouth and swallow them up, with all that appertain unto them, and they go down quick into the pit, then ye shall understand that these men have provoked the Lord. And it came to pass, as he had made an end of speaking all these words, that the ground cleaved asunder that was under them. And the earth opened her mouth and swallowed them up. And their houses and all the men that apper appertaineth unto Korah and all their gods, they and, they and all that appertaineth to them went down alive into the pit, and the earth closed up upon them. And they perished from the congregation. And all Israel that were round about fled at the cry of them. For they said, Lest the earth swallow us up also. And there came out a fire from the Lord. And consumed the 250 men that offered incense. Alright. You know, in the Bible. Goes into Israel. And how Israel was so hard-headed. And the Most High, you know, had to make examples of different guys, man. By putting in a death. You know, so it's much, you know, much death, man. Even in the book of Judges, man. You know, the most I was putting people to death for, uh, you know, basically coming up against Israel. You know, this is, got another preset real quick. But, you know, the most high is, is far out, man. The most high even had Abraham about to kill his own, you know, beloved son, man. His only son at the time, his, his beloved son, which, which is, um... Isaac, man, just to prove himself, you know. Isaiah 55 and 8, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. All right. Got another one real quick. This is, um... Isaiah 45 and 7. I form light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. All right, so the Most High will do, the Most High does all of these things, man. You know, but we just gotta, us, you know, lock y'all in. Us, we just have to, um, you know, continue to serve the Lord and just hope that that evil doesn't, you know, um, partake, I mean, in, you know, partake in, in, in us, man. You know, but, uh, that was it, you know. That was it. Um, I pray, brothers, edified. Shalom, Israel.